Here we are to address Jerry Springer once again. And I wanted to address Springer because, you know, there's a lot of things that don't make any sense to me. First of all, I'm going to tell you this. I think he was a great entertaining guy. But a lot of people think a lot of things that just aren't true. For instance, I reviewed the I Married the Horse VHS and I was surprised. I got almost 500 views on it for just... I guess, because I disagreed with him, I thought it should have never been on there. The, there t he told the story to, I think it was, what's her name? Meredith Vieira, the show. This was a few years back before he passed away. He said that he had no idea that was going to happen. He doesn't get his information till before the show. I don't believe that for a second. There is no way they would throw something like that on Jerry without telling him. Especially to that high of a level. Suppose he was so disgusted that he didn't want to talk to someone that wanted to have intimate relations with a horse. The most vile and disgusting thing. What if he said, I don't want to do the show now, and he walks off? That's why I, I knew for a fact Jerry knew about that show ahead of time. He had to have. No one, they wouldn't put that something like that on him. Um, that's why I know it's a lot of bullshit. Um, that, these shows are... Book a fake for a reason. Because if you were to do things like this for real and tell everybody, um, you get a lot more pushback from people and stuff like that. I, I just, I was disgusted at what I saw. And um, <laughs> it's something I don't want to see again. That's the one VHS tape from Jerry I'll never watch again in my life. It's despicable. I mean, I, if I had known, uh, I didn't buy it by itself either. It was in a pack. I bought a bunch of them, so... It's it um by itself I'll never buy it again. I'm just gonna say I don't believe anything that was in there. And I think Jerry deserves a little more respect too because you know, he formed a TV show. While it is all just trash and, you know, peop all people from you could say the gutter, whatever you wanna call it. Um well not really you yeah. People that just, you know, unfortunately were used in these videos that were didn't have a lot of money or whatever it might be. Although I think sometimes it's faked a good amount of the time. I have to say that it's just death. I'm losing my train of thought there. It's just not making any sense to me. I don't think that they're telling the truth at all. They're not telling the truth when it comes to some of those things. And um, Jerry is, is pretty much just an entertainer. Jerry Springer in my opinion, is the version of, how do I put it, is the, the adult version of a circus where people are out of control and doing all crazy wild things. Except it's not Bottom and Bailey Circus, the one that went out of business and went bankrupt or whatever it was. This is the, mo this is the modern day one. And now it's been over and done with. Towards the end, though, Jerry got pretty... Uh, the Jerry Springer show got pretty weak, and he did. He looked weak himself. I felt bad because I don't think he should have been doing the last three or four seasons. If you look at him, he just doesn't seem like the same person. And it's hard to believe he was able to do a Judge Jerry show during the pandemic when the af after all that. Because I saw an episode, was it, yeah, it was on TV in the morning at 11 o'clock. I saw a, um, a Jer Jerry Springer episode that was season 26. I'm saying to myself, wow, holy crap. And you can tell Jerry's not as responsive when he's sp speaking to the guests. Um, not as many wisecracks or expressions. Like, he was at his, when he was at his prime, and you go back to the late 90s and stuff, that was his time. That was his time. But unfortunately, what they did to Jerry's show to screw him over, I don't think it was right. They made him change his whole format because there were so many restrictions that were put in place. I have to say, the damage was already done. What was the point? And it's not like he did anything really bad. If he did, he wouldn't have a TV show anymore. And that's that. Hey, it's still on TV. Um, it's, I, uh, they played in Florida. I was down there. It's on one of their affiliates for a station. It's, it's down here. I assume most of the country can still watch the reruns. I gotta tell you, I don't see Maury anymore. It's because nobody wants to see the basic Maury show at paternity tests. What a boring thing to keep watching. To see if someone's the father or not and having everyone scream at each other. And they don't fight each other on that show either. All they kind of do is get the test and leave. And 
and Maury, no matter how bad somebody is on uh, Maury, Maury treats them like they're God, treats them with complete respect. He has no choice, though, because um, he could get sued if he doesn't do it, probably. <laughs> uh, what else about Jerry? I've actually been to the Jerry Springer, yeah, Springer show. That was like, ooh, I'm trying to think, probably 13 years ago, 12 to no, 12 to 14 years ago I went. And it was a fun experience, but I wish I had been there during the 90s, late 90s when everything was all hyped up. Um, the one I went to was pretty good, and Jerry was great there, though. He wasn't down on his luck at all. So it was a fun It was a fun experience. I thought it was great. You had to go through a metal detector to get in, all kinds of stuff. But it was an interesting kind of thing. And then they think they wanted to give me tickets to the Steve Vuko show because it was extra tickets, but we didn't go to that. Um, all I'm going to say is is that, you know, this is a circus type of show for, for entertainment purposes. People get mad because you make fun of a background of people or people are sleeping with each other. Or what kind of ever crazy thing? But it's for entertainment. Do you understand? This is no worse than those shitty Desperate Housewife shows where people scream and swear at each other and cheat on their husbands or wives. It's no worse than those shows. At least in, in, in um, it, um, let's put it this way. At least on Jerry Springer, like no one's really trying to hide it. It's in plain sight what people are like and what you know what what they're gonna do on a Desperate Housewife show or something like that that you see on TV. Those people actually. They like to go in front of the camera and pretend they're good people. At least on these shows, it's a different story. Everyone knows the status of everything. Um, so, if you want to watch Jerry, the best way to do it now is to go on YouTube. There's a ton of stuff, but all the stuff I mentioned you can't watch. The horse, Despicable Horse episode is only available on VHS. It might be on DVD too. The only way to watch it all the way through... Um, which was like 40 something minutes it had a couple of dogs that people were having relations with too it was a really disgusting thing <laughs> but you know what nobody cares you know that's the one thing I'll explain it again just to to make it clear that's why I was disappointed with Jerry on this one I don't think he should have did this episode Evil, all right, for the second for just one second let's believe that Jerry Springer had no clue that horse was coming on the stage and that guy was married to a horse. Let's just think of that for a second. Once that horse came on the stage, he should have went to the producers, whoever the hell they are, and he should have said, I'm not doing this episode, this is despicable, and that's the end of it. Right? No. He continued to stay on stage and promote that kind of nonsense, which I thought it was totally over the edge. But of course they didn't do anything about it. You can blame all the people in charge there too. Despicable, absolutely despicable. <laughs> I I I I don't believe anything will be sh just like when I used to r rant about um the game shows and all that. But this is a whole different thing. So just I'm just gonna say it. I don't I don't believe what happened. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can watch it every. The problem with watching the Jerry Springer re from no, I almost said refunds. <laughs> the problem with watching the Jerry Springer reruns is that they just redo the same seasons over and over again, or episodes. So it might go back to when he used to dumb. When, when it was really funny how he just he'd um, slide down the stripper pole before every episode. Well, um, and then you'll know it's you'll know it's a later season when he just walks onto the stage, which they have a little intro they they made. Um, and it's just the same episodes over and over. But you know, at least over the year, it's the uh, it, it, no, how do I put it? At least it fills the year, so you're not gonna get it, the same episodes every two or three months. It's usually the whole year, and then it recycles back to where it was. But it's still a whole year. I don't know why they can't reshow his episodes from the '90s. Probably because that's banned from television or something like that. Or earlier episodes. Why can't they go in sequence for the last 10 years and st or whatever? I don't know. I don't understand how people run things. All I know is it's a screwed up situation. All the best to everyone. Um, I know Jerry left his money. Supposedly he left his money to two different people. Orphans, I think. Or, or something like that. People weren't happy about it in his family. Well, <laughs> I 
I don't know how much Jerry was worth, but he had to have been worth quite a bit of money, several million dollars. I mean, the guy did a big show for a long time. Trash or not, it made a lot of money, and a lot of people went to his shows. All right, bye-bye.